Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how you can hide the empty staves in your score. So in particular, we're going to be looking at an orchestral score. This is the introduction to Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. And we can see that not all instruments are playing at the same time. At the beginning, it's really just a uh, some woodwinds and then some strings come in, but the, the brass and percussion don't come in until much later in the score. So those staves are empty and they remain empty for kind of a while. And then the, the woodwinds become kind of empty for a while while the strings are taking over the action, right? So there's a lot of places here where instruments are not playing. And that is very common in orchestral scores. So uh, there's two reasons why we might want to hide these. One is um, to make it easier perhaps to see who is playing. Uh, you know, then you don't have to scan up and down the whole page to see the instruments that are playing. The instruments that are playing will all be adjacent. But the other one would be to save space when printing. Because right now we can only fit one uh, system per page. I mean, this is going to depend on your staff size and your page size, but typically in an orchestral score, you're, if you're showing all the instruments, you're not going to be able to fit more than one system on a page. But if you hide the empty staves, you might be able to get two or even three if, if it's only the strings playing, right? So uh, that's another reason to possibly hide the empty staves. So let's go ahead and see how to do it. I'm going to come over to the Format menu, and then under Style, on the main score page here, you'll see an option that says hide empty staves within systems. I'm gonna check that and let's take a look at what it did. So the first thing you'll notice is that, well, gee, the first page doesn't look any different. It still has all the empty staves. That is the default. We're gonna go back and see how to change this, but typically in an orchestral score, you're gonna wanna show all the instruments on the first page, whether they're playing or not, so that we know what instruments are even there. We don't wanna have to go hunting through the score to see that the trombones don't enter until measure 73. We wanna know right at the beginning that there's going to be trombones, right? So, um, so the first page, even when you turn on hide empty staves, is still gonna show the empty staves. But after that, you'll notice that now there are no more completely empty staves. Everything is packed with music. And it has, in fact, allowed me, uh, well, first of all, now you can see that we've got uh, clarinet, horns, violins, none of the distraction of all those extra staves for the trumpets and the trombones and the percussion. The instruments that are playing are all nice and adjacent. And it was able to fit uh, two systems on the page. Now, it fit the two systems, but was that obvious? Well, I, I could tell because I could see the gap here. I could see the system bar line here at the beginning only going through this far. So I know this next thing, letter A, starts a second system. But realistically, there's an additional setting I should make. So if I'm going to combine multiple systems of an orchestral score onto one page like this, I'm going to go back to format style and this time I'm going to pick the system page here and I'm going to enable system dividers. You can put them on the left or on the right or both. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the left ones and when I do this now you see you get these little double slash diagonal lines that are showing you where there's multiple systems per page to make that more obvious. I can see now the next page actually managed to fit three systems. And after that, most of the, the entire orchestra is in, so we don't get to share uh, you know, multiple systems on a page after that, but at least we did save a few pages in doing this. Let's finally come back to that first page and say, well, what if we just really don't want those empty instruments even on the first page? You, you can definitely get that. I'm gonna go back to format, style, and the score section here. And underneath hide empty staves within sections, you'll see another option that says don't hide empty staves in the first system. And that's checked by default. All I gotta do is uncheck it. So now it won't don't hide empty staves. It will hide the double negative there, right? Um, I've turned off the don't option, so it will 
hide empty staves in first system. So when I do that, now even the first system has uh, the empty staves hidden. It really didn't bias anything because it wasn't room to fit. Actually, I think there's a page break here. Let's see if I delete that page break. Uh, yeah, now it is able to actually fit two systems on that first page. So there you have it. That is how uh, in a large ensemble score, like for orchestra, you can hide the empty staves both to save space and to just reduce the visual clutter. You can also add those system dividers and uh, yeah, it'll reduce the clutter and you will be able to save a few pages perhaps when it comes time to print it.